Comedian Aaron Weber is in the studio. I haven't seen you in a while, man. You're it's looking been a, good. Dude, you're looking good. Thank you, man. I guess it has been a, yeah, a couple of years. Now. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, you were clean shaven last time you came in. Was I really? Yeah, you look more like a country singer now. Oh. Okay. Like if you had a guitar in your hand, people <laughs> would ask you to play songs. Uh huh. Well, that means a lot. Thank you. I think I've lost some weight since last time some, I was here. I think yeah. significant, probably 35, 40 pounds. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. So it's been so long since you've seen me that you haven't seen. I've, I've since gained weight back since I've lost weight. So oh, you're kind of yeah. catching me after well, the I was fact. Well, I was trying to be. No, it's funny. <laughs> people yeah. remember me fatter. Like, it's the weirdest thing. I gain weight, and people come up and go, oh, my gosh, dude, you're looking great. And I'm like. Last time you saw me, I was way skinnier. That was 2012. Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, no, no, you look good. And I'm yeah. Like, well, you do look great, man. Well, thank you. Do you yeah. remember me skinnier? I don't remember or you fatter? as a fat guy. Oh. So you I know, look worse you, now. You put okay. people in. <laughs> no. You don't put, I don't, you know, you put people in categories in your head. You know, that's a big dude. That's a, and I, yeah. I didn't put you in that category. Well, we determined on the show that he's added a baby hippo since college. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. 100 pounds, a baby hippo. Congrats it, it to me. It comes out 100 pounds like like day one. Oh, yeah. Since, since, what was what? It was from high school. 100 pounds since high school. No, but I'm saying a baby yeah. rhino is 100. Day one, 100 pounds. Baby wow. hippo. Yeah. A baby hippo. Wow. Yeah. Baby crazy. rhinos, uh, I don't know what they would come out. I mean, I'm probably sure they're smaller than a baby hippo. Uh huh. Wow. Hi, Carson. How Hi. Nobody told me we had somebody. Oh, That's yeah. cool. Uh, oh, Aaron Weber is here. How are you? Good Hi, to see good you. Good to see you. Absolutely. So, this is comedian Aaron Weber. You met Aaron before, right? Yes. Yes. Well, I, he... I provided you all his information this morning, but you didn't bother to tell me he was here. Well, I thought you heard us getting coffee. You know. uh, well, I, uh, I work, Bubba. I does, have other things. Doesn't he look fantastic? He does, yeah. He's lost all kinds of weight. He's hey. got a very nice beard. I like beard. the hat, dude. Thank you. This is pretty, I appreciate yeah, it. I like the corduroy. Oh. You look very nice this morning. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. I needed this, man. We'll see you later. Bye. We're here for your ego. Anytime you need to check up, come on. Uh, we're going to come right back. Comedian Aaron Weber in the studio. We'll find out what's what's new in his world, all the stuff he's got going on. He's playing, uh, matter of fact, the Opry. Got a bunch of dates in the future. We'll talk about that coming up. Comedian Aaron Weber is in the studio with us. I didn't realize you graduated Notre Dame. I did. Notre yeah. Dame. Wow. Notre um, Dame. Yeah, I've never been able to say it the French way. Notre Dame. But Notre Dame. Okay. Uh, I say it in the most southern accent <laughs> I would have been, that has been said. No, I was at Notre Dame. Notre Dame fighting Irish. Oh, that's yeah. nice, man. <laughs> Irish. Irish. You still owe them money? I'm, I'm looking at all the stuff people are sending me. You still owe them money? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> How yeah. long has it been? Like I graduated 2014. That's the worst. Yeah, have so you even I, gotten close to paying yeah. off the principal yet? Well, here's I'm the thing. They interest. keep freezing student loan payments, and yes. then they un, then they thaw oh. it out, and then they oh, freeze. Yeah. So I just kind of stop checking on it, <laughs> and I figure they'll find me if they need me. You know? <laughs> I have a very public schedule, so they could, you know, if they really need the money right now, they Would can that find not me. be the best? You're at a, you're at a show. You're, you're playing, like, let's say the Opry. You show right. up the Grand Ole Opry, and you're about to go on stage, <laughs> and these, these this hunchback walks up and goes, Aaron. <laughs> Webber, Aaron Webber. I want the little guy in the green suit. Yeah, you think Notre Dame sends a leprechaun out to collect the student loan payments? They might. I don't know. I was thinking, I was thinking the hunchback, but no, you went. You oh, went the, the hunchback of yeah. Notre. You know, I didn't get. You know, the college isn't in the. French Cathedral. I know. Right? I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's in South Bend, Indiana. I know. I know. I'm just bringing terrible jokes into like, it. Didn't, didn't your campus burn down recently? Like, no, no, no. That was right. the cathedral. I forgot about that. Why is it like, because like uh, Nashville has a Parthenon. It is an exact to the inch duplicate, a replica of yeah. the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. Yeah. Except it's better. Because we haven't been war torn oh, and yeah. destroyed and all that, so like they are sending people from Greece here to copy ours to rebuild theirs. Why don't we just do that with all the great things in the world? Like we should have an American Taj Mahal. Uh-huh. We could have an American <laughs> yeah. uh, everything. We could and never create anything original ever again. Just well, copy the <laughs> stuff. So basically, it's a third generation <laughs> mixtape, is what it is. One hundred percent. You could you could do that with like the Notre Dame uh, Cathedral. Why in, is the Parthenon in... he- here? Is there a reason? I, I don't know. Yeah, we're not a lot like Greece outside of that. I don't know. There's a giant statue of Athena in it. I yeah, don't I don't know. like the look of that. That's creepy in there. <laughs> I've <laughs> never actually been in there and somebody said take a take a look at some pictures from inside of there. I don't like I don't like the vibes in there. She's got a little Medusa head on her. Yeah, I don't I don't care for any of that. Okay. 
But yeah, like we could totally, <laughs> like you could do the Notre Dame Cathedral here. Uh-huh. It's an engineering marvel. Why it can't is. we? I mean, we could learn something by looking at the past. I agree with you. And man. make it better. And make we have it a fireproof. pyramid in Vegas already. Why not? Just and you know. in Memphis. We have a pyramid in Memphis. Memphis. That's, you, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I mean, in that giant, what what is that that sphere going on in Vegas right now? It's pretty crazy. Man. That's the coolest, yeah. craziest thing. When they do the eye, it freaks me out. I know. Have you seen the? Uh, I saw pictures from the perspective of a golf course where you could see it in the background. It just looks <laughs> insane, dude. It looks, yeah, it's the end of times. <laughs> I don't know. We just kind of. Uh, that's true. Well, almost, are, do you yeah. guys feel when you see videos like that? I almost don't believe they're real now because I think everything is so easily manipulated and faked. Uh, that I, I, I think saw that and I go, I'm not even sure that's a real, real building. I, and then I, I, I'm, for sh- I'm for sure that it's real. No, I know that. I know it is now. <laughs> But I'm saying my gut reaction when I first saw that video was like, what's happening here? It was like the first time I saw a B-2 fly by. You're like, there's no way that should be in the air. You seen a B-2 in the wild? Yeah. Just flying a stealth bomber? Yeah. Wow. Where? Did you live near? Uh, uh, air shows and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Right. You see you see it fly by and you're like, that doesn't look right. It yeah. looks like CGI. So it wasn't, the stealth thing wasn't on, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the they forgot its yeah. invisibility cloak the that day. Yeah. <laughs> it flew 200 feet over my house. Let me know. also. It's not very stealthy, yeah. Comedian Aaron Weber in the studio. We haven't even talked about you at all yet, no, so uh, yeah. we'll do that coming up next. <laughs> Comedian Aaron Weber in the studio with us, and, uh, you know, we were just talking about uh, everything else in the world. Let's talk about you. <laughs> so you're doing the, the stuff with uh, Nate Land, which is Nate's uh, podcast, and right. you're co-hosting with him. That's cool. Yeah, it's been really fun, man. We've been doing it three years now. We started in July of 2020 when the world was insane, yeah. you know, and there were... Not a lot of opportunities to do live stand-up comedy all over the country. So Nate wanted to, you know, let's just get something going. Let's. Everything was very political at the time. Everything was very COVID-centered. And he's like, I want to do something not talking about either of that, just talking about nonsense. So that's what we've been doing. We did a whole episode on appliances. Like, that's the kind of nonsense we're talking about. We spent 30 minutes talking about microwaves and yeah debating where is your microwave that. is it a, on the counter or because i just bought a new house and yeah. you have to put the microwave in the pantry like oh, it doesn't seem it's not built safe. in it's yeah, i don't know why where they does put the heat there. go that also feels rich because you have a pantry <laughs> Bougie. well you know it's like where you know you open the pantry have you the seen door. the microwaves that are low yeah, that people like put on the, No, I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, that's We're, the new place that if you have you know lower cabinets, uh-huh. people now put microwaves that they put a place for the microwave. Is so it a top low. loading? No, that's what makes <laughs> it weird, right? Because <laughs> you have to hunch down to yeah, like yeah. reheat your pescetti. Well, I think that level of wealth, you're not using microwaves as often you as, know what, as right. I am. Right. I, uh, I need mine eye level. <laughs> they put it low because the only people who use it are the kids with their chicken nuggets. Oh, that's true. Oh, are they? I, I thought that was an oven. <laughs> but I guess you can do it in the microwave. Yeah. Uh, I have this, is, this is the kind of highbrow stuff that we talk about on the <laughs> Land podcast. Yes. We spent 30 minutes talking about whether it, it, you should even use a microwave. There is some fierce debate about that. Why? Why not? Well, I mean, it gets the food so hot, and then you open the door, and it's it's you know it's not hot in the microwave. So how, what's going on there? <laughs> Where'd that heat go? That's what I'm saying. It went into the food. It's questionable heat, though. You know, Questionable heat. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's heat. <laughs> Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, so it's in the food. It's not hanging around anywhere else. Okay. We have just solved the problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, the, you should be on the podcast yeah, sometime. You, you obviously well, didn't need half an hour because you down. had a bunch just, right, yeah. just say when. <laughs> uh, uh, you, of course, you've been doing like the Opry. You've, uh, you, you're touring. You're going all over the place. But what's it like uh, getting in front of the Opry? Because that's a totally different crowd than a comedy club. Yeah, they do such a good job setting you up there. They make it feel like. You know, the crowd thinks you're a huge deal, just that you're in the building. So uh, the crowds are awesome, man. The annoying part of the only annoying part of doing the Opry is that when the musicians are funny, that infuriates me. (laughs) It's like when I'm (laughs) I'm off the side of the stage waiting to go up and there's a musician like getting huge laughs between songs. Yeah. And I had to pull like a pull people aside and be like, I don't appreciate that. dude. I tell the musicians like because I can't just bust out a song. Yeah, mid comedy set. You know, I just I only have one thing I could do. <laughs> Pardon and me. they're getting bigger laughs than I ever get my whole set. It, it's it makes me livid. Yeah, you should start carrying a keytar around 
And then what you do is like anytime that happens, you just pull out a guitar and you start playing like the dance by Garth Brooks or something. And they'll be like, uh, they'll be humbled. (laughs) They'll be like, you know what? He's funnier than me. And he has a (laughs) guitar. That's right. I have to learn how to play the guitar first. I think there's presets. You could just hit it. It'll be like green sleeves or something. One of those old timey songs. Okay. So just, yeah, just play a song. Just have a song on my phone and play that. Maybe that's the same thing. Just hold it up to the microphone. All right. What child is this? (laughs) It's Christmas something? <laughs> what I don't child? Know. Bubba dispensing yeah. amazing career oh, advice. I love it. Yeah, yeah. This is all this is, this that's is what a great I'm good tip. for. This is that's what I bring to the table. It opera, it's 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 awesome though, dude. It's awesome to to do comedy there. Crowds are so great. I'm yeah. doing it uh the end of this month and then I'm doing one first week of September and uh I'm I'm really excited. It's got to be a, a different thing too because you go how long is usually like a set 10 well, it 15 depends. minutes. You're usually you know, it's live radio. So, oh, so whatever you fill whatever they so need. So sometimes, you know, the comedian set's a little more malleable than a the musician set. Right. So it depends. I've I've done an eight minutes set there. I've done twenty five minutes. It's kind of wow. Yeah. It depends on uh, who went under, who went over before. Henry Cho was in recently and said he had to do one that was two fifty eight. <laughs> he told because me. Chip Eston talked too long. He told me about that. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Do you have a two minute joke? Just go out and hit him hard? I think you just go out. Yeah, you got a couple, like, quick hitters, and then you're kind of out. Wow. You know, Henry's got some quick one-liners. He can just go out there and, you know, and say and then get out of there. At that point, it's funny. You can kind of make a joke out of it. I'm only out here for three minutes, you know. It's a six or seven minutes. That's weirder. You can't really settle in. You can't, you know, you can't do much. But yeah, yeah. So I've done twenty five, which is just that's a long time. That's better though, I would think, because it gives people time to get a little used to you and oh, yeah. the comfortable uh, factor kind of sets yeah. in. Have you ever heard the theory that like uh, human beings operate? I think there was a Monty Python sketch about this, where like you're three beers deep is like where you're the best. It's like before you're drunk, but you've been drinking a little bit. Yeah. Where you have a good buzz. Yeah. So the goal is to like always be three, three beers deep. If it, I always think of like a comedy set, like 15, 20 minutes in, that's like when they know you and you're rolling and yeah. they're not tired yet. So that, yeah, that's like the sweet spot. Dude, that it's, should be the name of the next uh, special. Three so beers deep. Three beers deep. <laughs> three beers deep. Why not? Or maybe even the next podcast you do. Three, three beers, beers deep. Three beers deep. Yeah, a little different than Nate Land. Yeah. You know, we talk about serious stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 We get a little bit drunk and we talk about the world. Uh, so where do people find you online? AaronWeberComedy.com is my MySpace page. You can check that out. I got all my dates on Are we in your top there. eight? I'll put you in my top eight yes. today. Absolutely. Yes. Do you want to be online now? Man, that's, tr- that's the important <laughs> question. I tried. I tried recently to get into my MySpace page because mm-hmm. I wanted to go get like some Throwback Thursday pictures. I'm like, this will be great. Yeah, man, I couldn't even reset the password. I don't have the email that I logged in with and right. all that. Timberlake's well, holding all that hostage. <sighs> yeah, isn't that crazy that he owns it the, now? Yeah. You can't even log in and see. That's why I built my website to look like that. It's like the nostalgia factor. Oh, does it look like that? Yeah, if you oh, go to yeah. AaronWeberComedy.com, it's a, it's a 2004-era MySpace page. If I move the mouse, will it do the little sparkles behind it? Oh, I can do that. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's not, I didn't make it a heavily customized MySpace page. It's more boilerplate. I got Tom in my top eight, but I'll put, I'll put, <laughs> yeah. I'll put Big D and Bubba up there today. Absolutely. Oh, yes, we could be in the top eight. Uh-huh. Uh, again, AaronWeberComedy.com, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. X, whatever you want to call it, uh, just look for at Real Aaron Weber. Boom. And that's Weber with one B, not two. I go. spelled it wrong the other day. I'm that's like, like, oh, like the grill. Yes. Weber grill. Yes, like the grill. Aaron Weber. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Good dude, Thank you. you guys, man. Y'all are the best. All right. Well, that was that was great. That was good. You did good. Thank you. I have you no were... idea what it was because yeah. it's taped afterwards, but mm-hmm. you were you amazing, sh- though. Thanks. Appreciate it.